I'm asking you, get in this fight with me. Vote for me on Tuesday. Volunteer to knock on doors, make phone calls, talk to the person in front of you in line at the grocery store. This is the moment to dream big, fight hard, and win. <laughs> Throughout the fall, Elizabeth Warren was seen as the front runner in this race. Some people were saying, this thing is over, she's gonna kill in Iowa. And here we are, three days after the Iowa caucus, and we are talking about whether or not she survives them. And I don't feel like we're hearing urgency from the Warren campaign. Yeah. If she doesn't do something unexpected in New Hampshire, where does she break through? Hello, it's good to see you. Hi, Senator. Rival campaigns have worried for months that you had a home field advantage in New Hampshire. Is Tuesday a must win for you? I am doing in New Hampshire what I've been doing for over a year all across this country. It's about rebuilding our democracy, taking back our government to make it work for all of us. But it's, Senator, 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 Senator campaigns are living, breathing things. Things. You finished third in Iowa. Is there nothing you feel like you need to do differently in New Hampshire? You know, I'm not someone who shaped a campaign with a bunch of consultants. I'm fighting the fight I've been fighting pretty much all my life, and it's the fight I'm going to keep right on fighting. If you can't win here in New Hampshire, effectively a home field advantage for you, where, where can you win? Oh, look, I'm in this fight because I believe in it. We have a chance to save our democracy. That's what this fight is about. Senator, Senator over here. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.